Nursing programs across the U.S. are now having to um, adjust their programs to the newest uh, essentials, and um, which are competency-based. And as a result, simulation is starting to play a heavier role in those programs. And I think simulation is a really good tool to allow us to give our learners an opportunity to demonstrate a comprehensive understanding of the skills they've learned, the knowledge they've acquired, their experiences in the classroom, their experiences in clinical. So as we move forward into the sort of new era of nursing education, uh, simulation is gonna be a very significant part of how students are able to demonstrate that they're meeting their competencies through their actions. I think simulation needs to be at the forefront, truly, of looking at the totality of picture. It needs to be still continue to be a part of the discussion and in that discovery of. So how do we continue to define in this day and time what competency-based education is? When I reflect on my novice practice as a nurse or in practice today, when we look at transition into practice settings, we do have those checklists, right, that we use. At that time and that moment in time, um, which could be the perfect moment in the environment that I'm deemed competence, competent, what about other factors? What about your environment? The simulation will provide us opportunities to explore those avenues. So really expand the research on this concept and help define the concept of competency-based education. Competency-based education, I think, starts with a very clear picture of what the graduate nurse looks like that can be handed off into practice. Um, and I think First, that conversation between academia and practice to determine what that graduate looks like is one of the first most important steps. And I think that's happening. You know, we have the AAC and Essentials, and we have some first steps in nursing education to move in that direction. Once we have that clear picture, we can then set up, educators can set up the curriculum, the teaching strategies to move a learner toward that ready picture of a new graduate. Simulation, I think, is provides the opportunity for learners to do that clinical reasoning, that thinking as a nurse, apply their knowledge, and do it in the context, um, in the context of uh, the, the, the practice setting in which they provide patient care. So they do it with the alarms, interruptions, um, complex patient care, Right? We don't do thinking and decision making in isolation of all of those environmental factors. So that all has to be put together. Simulation is one experiential teaching strategy that does a really good job of putting that, all of those pieces together to allow the learner to practice that thinking on their feet with feedback, with debriefing, in an in in environment in which they have psychological safety um, provided by hopefully the facilitator uh, an opportunity for them to learn and practice and rehearse and, and grow. So if you have simulations across your curriculum, multiple opportunities for this type of experiential practice, then learners can see better um, where their skills are, how they're progressing against the milestones that are set by competency-based education, and that they can see for themselves and have more autonomy in their nursing um, development and in their educational experience about how they're progressing towards readiness.